If you have a quick set clam and have had it blow away and get tears in it, I'm here to show you how to get that fixed. Stay tuned. Today I'm going to show you how to patch a quick set clam. Stick around. campers and welcome to Keeves 5 Adventures. Today we're going to be talking about the quick set clam and how to patch holes like these. We had our clam up and a storm blew in. This thing went about half a mile away and we have these holes. It's such a bummer such a bummer. We're going to get this thing cleaned up and we are going to patch these holes and hopefully restore this thing back to regular use. So I am realizing that this is dirty. So I'm going to first clean the dust and dirt off of the top of the clam. This is a very mild solution of water and Dawn dish detergent. And I'm gonna use a paper towel and I'm just gonna clean this dirt off so that we have a good surface to make this repair. So I'm just gonna spray this solution on here you can see it's pretty dirty definitely don't want to have a lot of dirt on here so we want this adhesive that we're going to be using to stick patch is pretty big, so I just want to make sure this is clean all the way around. Because the patch is really large. You can see here we've got lots of holes. Trying to get this whole area clean, inspected. Let's see, how about the damages? I'm feeling like I need a microfiber cloth to get any paper residue. You can see, it is definitely a big area. And I only have four, so I need to pick the four biggest holes to batch. <laughs> This is my biggest hole. Ah, may take two kits. Gosh, what a bummer. Okay, so I just washed with the soap and water solution and I'm kind of worried about the soapy residue. So what I'm gonna do is I've got a microfiber cloth with some water and I'm gonna go ahead now and rinse the soapy areas just to make sure there's no residue. Okay, so I have finished the prep work for this patch job and now I'm just going to wait for it to dry. I'm gonna set up a fan. So I have decided since I have to spray this on the tent that I'm just gonna go ahead and make a little template here so I don't get this adhesive all over the tent and then dirt's gonna stick to it. I just want the adhesive right where I need it on the tent. So I am going to cut this. Okay, so I made a template 
it's the same size as the patch because the directions on the website say to apply to both the, the, the fabric of the clam and also apply to the patch. So we're gonna practice on this area and see how it goes. Okay, it feels tacky. So I'm gonna go ahead and lay this down. This is not gonna be easy. I need to get this lined up. For me, getting it over this bump is the most crucial part. Oh. So. Did not do a very good job of lining this thing up. But I'm stuck now. So. That is what is going to happen. Just gonna press it in. Hope for the best. Definitely have wrinkles, so that's kind of hard. Throw some dirt on that, and it'll be good to go. All right, well, I'm gonna leave that be and work on the next area. I'm so happy with it, but you know, it's my first attempt, so I'm gonna work on this hole right here. May have gotten a little aggressive with that spray. Whoopsie daisy. And I have a thread too. Just let that dry and get tacky. Oh, my hand. <laughs> Great. The second one went much better. Spray this on. Okay, so got two patches on. I got the big one to do last. Something heavy to hold it flat while you do this. Here is my last hole. It's pretty big. So I think I'm gonna be able to get one piece over this hole, which is a slit all the way up. All right, I've got my last template. I've got these giant holes here. I'm trying to get this whole patch over this. Very critical to get the whole thing. All right, and now I'm gonna spray my patch First, shake it up. Okay, next, doing this template. Okay, you can see it's working pretty well. Now I'm gonna wait for it to get tacky. Okay, so it is tacky. So I'm going to line this baby up. By the way, probably should be wearing gloves.
most important part for me is right at the seam. That's kind of why I'm starting here. Working my way over. Making sure there are no wrinkles that would let water in. There we go. Okay. Just wanna make sure there is good contact. All right, so I am done patching these three areas and I'm going to let this dry for the rest of the day. And then I'm gonna pop this thing up and see how it looks from the inside. I'm pretty happy with this. It looks pretty good. I'm not gonna pop it up, but the patchwork does look really good. I'm happy with it. Well, I hope you enjoyed our video today. And I feel like this is a very good solution. I will post all of the links to what we use for this repair down below. So if you could take a moment and like this video and please subscribe, we would really appreciate it. We like to share our content and hopefully help others out there who have made the same mistake as us and left our clam shelter open when a cold front moved through. It was staked down in multiple places and even using these, but um, it will still go airborne, so just beware. You should really um, not leave it out when it's gonna be windy or cold fronts moving through. All right, well, thanks for watching and please have a great day. Uh, I'm gonna have you on the top, but I'm gonna flip it on the uh, stone in there. But first, actually,